I invite you to join me on a journey to a time of transformation, a profusion of creativity, and some very cool magic. Whether you lived it or you're going for the first time, get ready for the ride. It's 1968 in Asbury Park. at the Upstage Club. Come up the steps into the black light lit hallway that takes you into day glow fluorescent yellow and green. You are in a totally different dimension. This is the place for young musicians and it sets the tone for a new generation. A place of inspiration and experimentation. It's one long jam and nobody is leaving till 5 a.m. The musicians meet each other for the first time on stage and the band is constantly melding into a new configuration as performers come and go, and the music never stops. Come down to the ocean and feel the breeze as the majestic convention hall comes into view. The angels over the vestibule usher you in. Whether you're coming to see the Rolling Stones, Janis Joplin, Pink Floyd, or perhaps your favorite is Jim Morrison and the Doors, they're all here, thanks to legendary promoter Mo Septi. The ticket price, $3. Unless you want the best seats, they go for $5.50. It's August 16th, 1969, and Woodstock is in the news, but Led Zeppelin declines the invitation and decides to play instead in Asbury Park. Let's journey back to the 4th of July in 1976 with Stone Pony owner Butch Pielka. It's one of those magical nights, and the aurora is rising behind them. I get a call, Bruce's manager. Butch, Bruce is playing tonight with the whole band. I said, oh, shit. <laughs> I had to cancel a lot of my acts that I had booked for that night. I had to put security on, I had to get more booze, more money, more everything. Well, he played that night. It was 120 degrees in here. He played like for two, three hours straight. I remember after he got done playing, we carried him from this stage through the back door of Mr. J's, threw him on an old Chevy, got a bucket of water and threw it on him and steam came off. break from cruising the circuit and stop into the fast lane. Check out the house band. Some guy from Sayreville is the front man. You may have heard of him. His name is John Bon Jovi. If you happen to be on the corner of 4th and Kingsley on May 31st, 1981, you may notice a station wagon pulling up. It's you too, and Bono's at the wheel. The show is over and the crowd is calling for more. Bono and U2 are replaying their set. Those are the only songs they know. <laughs> it's just another night of life at the fast lane. Welcome back to the present. Today, Asbury Park's landscape is significantly different. The Stone Pony continues on, but the Upstage Club and the Fast Lane are gone. Convention Hall is in disrepair. Times change, places come and go, but history is constantly being made. 
Now is our time to make history, to create the future of music at the Jersey Shore. New sounds, new venues, a new wave of creativity and magic.